It's a Sunday morning in the outcast of the city of Nairobi. Here I meet a group of young people who have traveled out of the capital city for a breath of fresh air and to quench their thirst of adventure. For some, this is their first trip out of town since COVID-19 hit Kenya. Felista Wanjiku, a founder of Kutana Travelers Agency, counts this her lucky day as COVID-19 had halted her travel business. Hasa wakati kulikuwa kuna watu kutoka Nairobi ilikuwa ngumu sana ku travel. Juu watu walikuwa wanataka ku travel but wezi enda places za nje. But mostly we did the metropolitan trips like Karura Forest and Gong Hills, Kiserian, those areas. Sana sana kafiu. Kuna siku tulifanya tulikuwa tunafanya trip ya kwenda Gare Dare. Sasa juu ya kafiu Iyo masaya kafi unapata wezi enda places mfa. Unlike before, when she was only concerned about satisfaction of her clients, Felista has more on her plate. The safety of her clients in the wake of COVID-19 pandemic. Unapata kitabo gari liko inabeba. Tuseme kama bila hii social distancing, gari 14 sita iliko inabeba watu 14. But now with COVID and the social distancing rules, 14 seater in a beba 8 people. Now almost half. Almost so, half. So ni loss kwa the tourism industry. COVID-19 pandemic literally grounded the tourism sector to a halt with more than 2.3 million employees sent home, a majority on unpaid leave while the few that remained at work on half payment. But it has been three months since President Uhuru Kenyatta reopened the country for travel as part of efforts to gradually reopen Kenya's economy. But according to two operators such as Felista, it's been a slow recovery process with only local tourists making travel bookings. Unenda kwa hoteli unapata watu ni couples, ukibuku na the normal tours company, unapata kila mtu wana share, then we unabaki kwa varanda ukitaftiwa. Packages are actually affordable because like this one, we pay 2,600, yeah? Yeah, inclusive of everything, yes. Yeah, it's favorable for Mananche. In 2019, Kenya's tourism sector kept on the growth path with international arrivals rising above the 2 million visitor mark. Receipts from tourism increased by 3.9% to 163.6 billion shillings from 157.4 billion shillings in 2018. With safe travel protocols already in place, players in the tourism sector are optimistic that tourism can and will recover in the near future. The testing is... Uh far and wide and uh, uh, they're only giving it to people who are sick, all right? So if you're going to insist to get tested because you want to go on holiday, it can easily cost you even sometimes $200 and above. If you have a family of five, you're taking off a thousand bucks. Mm. Although the government opened its skies for both international and local flights after restrictions that curtailed all travel, the number of international tourists is still struggling, with the sector now depending on local tourism, such as this, for recovery of the industry for at least six months. Victoria Amunga at the scary Kitengela Bridge, Kajado County.